an Su-289 flight belonging to Russia's national airline Aeroflot that was grounded in Colombo left the Bandaranaika International Airport at 6 p.m. today. On the 2nd of June, the Colombo Commercial High Court issued an order preventing the flight from leaving Colombo over a case filed by an Irish company. The Attorney General filed a motion today requesting court to suspend the enjoining order. Additional Solicitor General Sumati Dharmavaladana told court that the petitioner had obtained the order by misleading court after concealing information. Judge Harsha Setunga declared that the court had not issued an enjoining order on the Bandaranaika International Airport or Airport and Aviation Services Limited. The additional Solicitor General questioned how the petitioner's lawyer and a court fiscal officer had gone to the air traffic control room and prevented the flight from leaving using the court order. He requested court to draw its attention towards this incident. The judge declared that if such an incident had occurred, it would be a misuse of judicial powers. The additional Solicitor General argued that the enjoining order issued by court goes against Section 37 of the Civil Aviation Act. He said that the order violates the powers granted to the Director General of the Civil Aviation Authority by Parliament to handle matters related to aviation. Lawyers for the Irish company that filed the case and the Russian airline made submissions in court today. The judge considered these submissions an order to suspend the enjoining order issued by court. The Civil Aviation Authority has granted permission for the flight to fly towards any destination. We are happy that this issue has been solved. Justice Minister Dr. Vijay Dasaraj Paksa had met with the Russian ambassador and expressed his regret over the incident. I held a lengthy discussion with the Russian ambassador and expressed our regret on behalf of the government. We have successfully solved this problem diplomatically without bringing disrepute to any country. Although the court had only issued an order to Aeroflot, a lawyer and a court fiscal officer had gone to the air traffic control room and threatened that the officers there would be charged with contempt of court if they don't stop the flight. I will receive a report on this incident in two days. We will take action against the lawyer and the fiscal officer based on the outcome of the report. Former President Maitri Palisiri Sena wrote to Russian President Vladimir Putin yesterday over the incident. He requested Russia to consider the decision over this incident as one made by court and not by the government. The former president said he wishes to make this appeal although he is no longer a member of the government. Siri Sena said Sri Lanka is facing fuel shortages, power cuts and an imminent food crisis and therefore needs the support of all friendly nations. He said, quote, the help of Russia as one of our oldest and closest friends will be crucial to us. End quote. The former president requested to reconsider the suspension of Aeroflot flights to Colombo. Many civic groups handed over a memorandum to the Prime Minister's office over this issue today. Why did something like this happen? Why is there a hidden force acting to tarnish the friendship between our countries? There was an issue over asbestos sheets back then. Then there was the issue of a bug in a tea consignment. Russia is one of the leading buyers of Sri Lankan tea. Russia is willing to supply oil, flour and other food items to Sri Lanka. They are willing to sell fertilizer to us at much lower rates. The Russian government deals directly with another government. Intermediaries can't make commissions. Is that why some are acting like this? Russia is willing to sell goods to us at prices lower than global market rates. Why aren't we obtaining that? Why are officials delaying this? Is it because they can't earn commissions? The civic groups also handed over a memorandum to the Russian embassy. Buddhist monks, including Venerable Dr. Omalpe Sobhidatero, also handed over a memorandum to the Russian embassy. They could have consulted the president or prime minister and then made a decision. We are suspicious over the speed in which they implemented the court order. It's clear that this is a conspiracy against Sri Lanka.